hello, and howdy. I'm Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for the the, the finish line, the, the, the end of this massive diamond painting. 60 by 85 might not seem big to some of you, but for me and the time that I had to do this, this has been a monster, a beast. And as much as I've enjoyed doing it, and I love it, and it's looking really good, you guys. If you haven't seen, check out the Facebook or the community tab. I've been posting um, progress updates, but it's looking phenomenal. And like I said, as much as I've enjoyed doing this and um, enjoyed the process, and I'm loving the image, I'm so ready for this to be done because I'm out of time. You guys, this event, uh, Have a Heart, Eat a Brain, it's, I'm behind schedule. I owe you guys some videos, and um, because I'm not done with this, I'm late. I'm late with the videos. Ah! So I need to get this done so that you guys can see your whip parade and the finale and maybe a giveaway. And um, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mumbled there. Figure it out. If you didn't, you will soon. Um, but yeah. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little whipping chat while we kind of race toward the finish line on this because we have an October event, uh, horror hubbies, horror crushes that, you know, your horror love interests that's coming up in just a couple days, October. And we're going to be doing some fun challenges. If you choose to participate, totally optional. Um, the challenges are, if you don't want to do challenges, that's fine too. You can go either way. Challenge route not challenge route. You can start the challenge route and be like, eh, and get off the challenge route anytime you want, whatever. This event is for you guys to have fun and talk amongst yourselves and share with each other and for us all to enjoy the community we're building and uh, have fun doing it. So you make it what you want. That being said, let's get to work because I'm so far behind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Let's get her done. Um, yeah. Okay. I will remember I, I took a minute um, before I started filming and I to refill all the putty on my pens and I'm like, I don't remember what I was doing, but now I do. Uh, now I do. Here we go. So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys. I thought I'd do a whip and chat. I got some positive feedback from the last one I did while working on this. I was kind of like a, it was like a behind the camera behind the curtain type of one one little mushy one little creator's perspective on a certain aspect of of having a YouTube channel how much hard work it can be I kind of touched the tip of the iceberg I I sort of licked it I licked the tip a little bit <laughs> eee, sorry um you know of the iceberg you guys the tip of the iceberg and uh you know kind of touched a little bit on it and and i got some positive feedback some of you kind of appreciate it because it's not a lot of this stuff is not something that a lot of creators talk about i think primarily because it can come across as whiny or sometimes in t depending on the topic and how you present it whiny entitled um a pity party you know it, it can have negative connotations and whatnot you know and it's scary it's scary to talk about things that nobody else talks about because you don't know how people are going to react you're you, there's some fear you know there's always that fear that you thought maybe you were communicating clearly and and uh, I don't know, you thought you were communicating the way you wanted to and it came off totally wrong. That's always a fear too, you know, and um, so yeah, I mean, I, can, I get it. I get why not a lot of creators talk about it and then the one, some of the ones that do, half the time it's, you know, it does turn into a wine fest or a drama fest or something like that. And so, you know, I get it. I get it. But um, I'm sleep deprived, I'm tired and, uh, I'm opinionated. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say things. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to go on some of the outlying thing. Let me do a music note. I'm not, I'm not, you know, going in order here and I should, my brain's going to like scream at me, but that's okay. Scream away, brain. I'm doing what I want because I'm a rebel. <laughs> uh, 
I thought maybe I'd talk to you guys a little bit today because, uh, as I mentioned, I'm feeling the pressure. Feeling the pressure. Maybe I didn't mention it and I just thought I did, but I kind of indicated it. I'm feeling the pressure. This is a canvas that I've been working on for a couple weeks now, I think. And uh, I'd have to check my notes, but it feels like an eternity. It is a larger canvas than I tend to want to do on my channel, especially in a certain time frame, like for an event in this one month period, especially, especially when I had other projects that I wanted to do at the same time or before or with it, which I did. You know, I had the anatomical heart. I had the little skull heart situation. So I did have some other canvases that I did before this one, but then I got started on this one and I thought I've got plenty of time. I will have this done well before October event preparation. It, there's, this isn't going to take me that long. <sighs> Boy was mushy wrong. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, like I said, this is, um, this canvas, I, I mean, I chose this, I chose the size, you know, and I knew better. I knew better. This is a little bit bigger than what I'm comfortable with, with the time constraints that I place upon myself for canvas completions. I knew going into this that it was probably definitely going to take me longer than I wanted it to, but I... I did this to myself. I have nobody to blame but me. And um, yeah, never, never my wildest dreams, even accounting for like extra life stuff and, you know, maybe sleeping in or skipping a day and taking a day off. I still didn't think, I, I thought I would have plenty of time and I don't know what happened, but like I started it, I blinked and it was like, I need to have this done three days ago and I'm just now starting it. What's happening here? <laughs> it's the canvas that never ends. <laughs> um, you know, not being disparaging. I've really been addicted to this canvas in the, in a good way. I have been loving and enjoying the process. The only thing that I'm not loving is how long it's taking me. It, if I didn't have a channel, and if I didn't have content schedules and plans, I would have, I would, the timing part would not bother me. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? It's the, how long it's taking me to do this would be a pleasure and a joy if I didn't have a channel and I didn't feel the stress and pressure of certain aspects of having, you know, having said channel and the obligations that come with it. Um, and, and the time, the time thing, you know, this is, I would recommend this size or larger even, uh, and I would have enjoyed, I mean, I, I don't even know how to say this. I want to be very clear. I'm super enjoying this canvas. I'm really enjoying how it's coming out. If you haven't seen I think I've posted some progress updates on the community tab of this channel, also in the Facebook group. So some of you know how beautiful, detailed, stunning, amazing, great quality the this rendering is turning out to be. Um, well worth the time and money investment thus far, in my opinion. Spoiler. <laughs> Uh, let's turn this into a post review mush. Good job. No, but, um, you know, not, not anything disparaging about this canvas or the company or, you know, anything like that. I'm the one who put this size in my cart. I'm the one who, who knowingly purchased a, a canvas that I knew at the time I purchased this was going to be a little bit bigger than I'm comfortable with. You know what I mean? But that was me. I did that. I put that pressure and stress on myself. Nobody else. So I only have myself to blame. Um, pity party. I owe mushy. <laughs> come one, come all. Bring your own drink. But um, yeah, I, I'm feeling it. Under pressure. 
Yeah, that was my best impression of that song. Sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Mushy, how many times do you have to be told not to try to sing on your channel? I guess all the times because I keep trying to do it. I don't know why. I can't sing. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. This should have been done. Uh, I'm out of time. I'm past out of time. I'm in like overtime right now. Um, and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I have spent the last two or three days yeah, napping. I haven't really gone to bed. I've done like nighttime nap where I get, I go to bed about 4, 4.30, up by 8, 8.30, and back on. I, I have, I spent, there was one day, was that yesterday, the day before? I, I'm losing track of time. That's how bad it's gotten. Trying to speed through this and get this done, I spent 20 hours sitting at this crafting table, hunched over this painting, just feeling the pressure of, I've got to get this done. The event's almost over. The month is almost over. We have another event starting in a couple days, and I don't have the canvas kitted up and prepped. Everyone else is starting to submit their entries, and they're ready to go, and I'm hosting, and I'm not even ready to go because I'm stuck trying to finish this canvas um, and just feeling that stress and that pressure. I have people who are participating in an event that I chose to host that I am hosting and um, that are counting on me to to be ready and to provide them you know their content and their instructions if they're participating in the challenge anyway. I have, you know, people who participated in this have a heart, eat a brain that are looking forward to, like I mentioned, the finale, the poster view and reveal of this final event canvas and the giveaway and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I mumbled again, sue me. Um, but, and, and I feel that pressure. I feel that weight. And it's not you guys. It's not like any of you are pressuring me. I am pressuring me. I did this to myself. I put myself in this position. I chose this canvas knowing that it would take more time than I was probably comfortable with. You know, so um, not blaming anybody but myself. And yeah, kind of whining a little bit. But also just explaining. Just trying to explain what's kind of going on in my head it's something that I don't think a lot of people I know I haven't seen a lot of creators talk about this either I'm kind of on a roll with the let's talk about things nobody talks about <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of creators talk about some of the more private sensitive topics or whatever like stress and pressure I think largely because, you know, it's it, it's a sensitive topic. It's a dicey topic. It can be misunderstood. It can come off as whiny or entitled. Um, you know, it's, it's risk. It's a risk to talk about it because you risk offending people. You risk sounding whiny. You risk, you know, maybe not articulating your thoughts properly and it being misunderstood and offending people um I don't know if it's that I'm sleep deprived and in pain yeah, I'm in pain uh, yeah let me finish what I was telling you though uh yeah I spent 20 hours one day recently the other day yesterday the day before whatever day that was um at this desk trying to just make some progress trying to to get this done because I'm under a time constraint I'm under a deadline if you will and I, I am I was like I'm not gonna make this deadline I gotta do I gotta pull out all the stops extreme measures and <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get extreme with it and um, I saw I I feel like my neck shoulders back like my entire spine is breaking. Um, imagine, okay, listen, I know that Twilight, I know how a lot of you guys feel about it, but I'm pretty sure that darn near everyone on the planet's seen it at least once. So don't play like you haven't. And if you haven't, look up this clip. There is part in the last movie, I think it was, or the second to last movie, whatever. Bella is pregnant. Spoiler, if you haven't seen the movie, here we go. Sorry, here's your warning. Bella is pregnanto. She is 
Rego. And uh, this baby, she, this baby is eating her from the inside out, essentially. She's, she's withering away and becoming nothing but a frail skeleton. Uh, and her bones are getting brittle and frail and muscles and all that stuff. And there is a scene where she stands up to her big old pregnant belly and her little frail, dying, fragile body. She stands up and snap, crackle, pop. Her back breaks backwards and she falls. Ah! And you hear it. You see it. They do it in slow motion. It's horrific. And um, I'm here to tell you, that's what I feel like just ha has happened to me over the last couple of days. <laughs> in summation, Mushy feels like I was, I feel like I was, that happened to me. I feel like my back just, like I was sitting here so long that my back just snapped. <laughs> it just was like, done now, crack. Uh, my neck too. Um, it was bad enough to where I had to have sundown like all day yesterday. Sundown was slathering, periodically slathering my back with uh, some pain management you know, topical cream upon my neck, shoulders, and my entire spine, right down to the old bootay crack. Yeah, I mean, the, the, when I say my whole spine, I mean the entire spine, from the back of my skull right down to the back of my crack. Yep, <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. Uh, and it's because I'm not used to sitting here, but I feel the pressure and the stress the you know, of needing to get this done, of this having needed to be done well before this moment. Um, so I am, I am trying to be a super trooper and plow through this the best I can. I'm, I'm not resting properly. I'm not like getting up and stretching. I'm doing all the things that. Uh, well, I'm not doing any of the things that a good diamond painter should do. <laughs> a good diamond painter should take breaks. They should sleep properly. They should eat properly. They should, uh, you know, get up and move around. Don't do like mushy. But it kind of is an example and leads into the topic I wanted to talk to you guys today about, which is like generally, I guess, stress and pressure of being... A YouTube creator. Now, disclaimer, I can't speak for every, I can't speak for every creator. We each have our own unique experiences. Um, our channels are somewhat a reflection of ourselves and um, each of us is an individual and our own person and so we make different content or make this you know similar content in different ways we we conduct our channels and our content and all that stuff how we want to you know with a with a reflection of ourselves in there and so every, each one of us has a different experience and perspective on everything really the the you know the whole content creation the community the experience of it all how much work they do or don't want to put into it you know what it means to them what kind of content like everything is unique to each individual however I have to believe that some of us experience some similar or same general types of things like as I mentioned stress and pressure so what do I mean by like stress and pressure? What, you know, I can almost hear like, <laughs> I can almost hear some tippy taps in the comments already. Hold your horses, hold your fingertips here, folks. Okay. I know what the first, I, I, I think what I, what I know the first round of comments is likely to be is something to the effect of, this is a hobby. This is a craft. It's meant to be not stressful and, you know, no pressure. It's supposed to be relaxing and fun. And if it's not, blah, 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 Ted talk. Got it. <laughs> like, of course. And I agree. I do agree with you. The craft itself is. However, 
I'm specifically talking about, you know, having a channel also and being the a type A personality as I am with a touch of the little bit of um, OCD. I am a perfectionist. I uh, am, I'm a workaholic. I, and, and I take the way I view my channel. I respect my subscribers. I respect their time. I respect their support. I have a healthy respect for my, my honor and my word, you know, and uh, I mean, whether you agree that it's right or wrong, I treat my channel as a job in a way in that I treat it with the respect of a job. I treat it with the mindset of, of having that work ethic. I don't just, oh, I'll throw a video up when I feel like it and I won't when I won't. And, you know, I feel like, you know, um, a responsibility to the community that chooses to spend their time with me and support me. And I feel, um, well, I, d I often say working. You know, but I do, I do handle this, like I said, with the respect of a job. I guess that's the, the simplest way I can put it. I respect my channel and my subscribers as I would respect a job and my coworkers. You know, I say I'm going to be on shift, you know, at a certain day at a certain time. I'm going to do everything in my power to be on shift on that day on that time. You know, it's called work ethic. Some of you, whether you're a creator or not, you might agree or you might disagree. This isn't a job, Mushy. Well, this is your channel. You, Uh-oh, we need a paperweight or something. You know, this isn't a job, Mushy. This is supposed to be fun. I, I get it. And it is fun. I enjoy diamond painting. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I enjoy creating videos again. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. But I impose upon myself I mean, it's not, I don't feel, you know, nobody does this to me, but me, but I chose when I started my channel that I, I decided and I choose every day to treat this with respect and, um, you know, with that comes a sense of obligation, comes a sense of responsibility and along with that stuff can often come stress and pressure. Um, it is what it is. That's kind of just how things work. Stress can be, stress isn't always bad. We always think of like, oh, stress. I'm so stressed out. It's obviously when somebody tells you like, hey, how are you doing today? I'm so stressed out. You automatically think, uh oh, what's going on? Something negative. What's bad? What, what bad is happening? You know? And that's not always the case. For instance, um, graduation. You're graduating from high school, college, or your kid is some someone. You know, you know. There's a graduation that you're that's coming up that you're involved in. That's a fantastic achievement and accomplishment. That is something to be excited about. That's the end of one chapter and the beginning of another chapter for the person who's graduating, and they've achieved something you know, that's, that was difficult and took effort and time and concentration. They did a thing, a big thing. That's phenomenal. Let's celebrate. But it's also really stressful. Oh my gosh, I've got to get the robe and the tassel. We got to get the program. We got to make sure we're there on time. We got to make sure that they have the right attire for the dress code. We got to make sure that we have the camera ready. We got to, you know, to record it and to take the pictures. And then we got to get our professional pictures done if we're choosing to do that. Um, we got to have the after party, you know, are there going to be friends? Did the invitations go out? Do we have the cake? Do we have the cupcakes, the, the, the drinks, the snacks? Do we have the venue? Uh, is it going to be small and just family? Are we inviting the whole freaking high school or college or whatever? 
Um, did we get the presents? The graduation present. Oh my gosh. And how about the card? Which card is right? Do you like this one? Do you like that one? Stress, you all. That is still stress. It's a great, exciting, positive, happy, phenomenal um, achievement and experience and, and celebration. But it can be stressful. Same for weddings. All the same things apply. Maybe even more things apply to a wedding. Oh, but sorry, I had to take a little pause break there. But um, where was I? A wedding. Like, it, that's a positive thing. Like, excitement, happiness, you know, a joyous experience. Families coming together and all the things. All the things, right? But um, still stressful. Don't tell me that, that you, you've planned a wedding or been part of a wedding or have had a wedding and it coming up that you're somehow associated with and you weren't stressed. Even if you're just a guest, what am I going to wear? Is this too light? I don't want to compete with the bride. I mean, I'm not, but I don't want to wear black. This isn't a funeral. So like, what do I wear? And do these shoes go with this dress? Do, does this tie go with the suit? You know? Am I, are we going to make it there on time? Are we going to be there too early? We don't want to be there too early. I mean, you know, they've got their stuff going on, but we, we don't want to be late. And is there assigned seats? And what? how do we greet the people we don't know? And, you know, all the things, you know, all the things. It's a positive, fantastic, wonderful, joyful, exciting, wanted experience, but it's still stressful. So good things can be stressful too. Same applies for other things in life, like a YouTube channel. Um, you know, this is an exciting thing to me. It's exciting. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. But with that also does come stress and pressure uh, from various... Okay, listen, <laughs> I have picked up this drill that's connected. It just needed broken apart. It was like holding hands with that other one. It was, they were soulmates. They did not want to let go. I just broke their string. I'm sorry. I'll try to put you, I'll try to put you two together on the canvas. Where's your friend? Where, where's your soulmate? Is it you? Let me look. Is it you? There you are. I found you right there. And you you went there. So look, um, right here. This is about the closest I can get you to. You're side by side. You're welcome. Okay, continuing on. I had to keep, actually, you know what? I don't really have time for this, but we're going to make time. <laughs> Let's move the soulmates. I disconnected their, like, their connection. The least I can do is put them together on the canvas so they're still touching. I'm sorry, little drills, soulmate drills. I'm so sorry, but um, I made it right the best I could. Uh, anyway, continuing on to something that, it's not entirely crazy and makes some sort of sense. Uh, uh, yeah, not too many creators talk about it, uh, but I have to believe that I'm not the only creator, particularly in this community, in this diamond painting space and specifically, but creators in general that feel the stress and pressure every day of having a channel. And some of you, ah, 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 I hear your tippy typing fingertips. You wait a minute and let me finish what I'm going to say before you start in. <laughs> you start in with, you know, if you don't enjoy content creating, then why are you doing it? Nobody's making you do it. Is that, okay, stop. Just stop. Just listen to me first and then, you know, go on, go on with it. <laughs> if that's what you were going to say. Um, you know, there is stress and pressure, but like I said, stress and stress and pressure can come with positivity, you know, from positive experiences and, and endeavors. So, um, yeah, I enjoy having a channel. I enjoy making content. I enjoy the heck out of diamond painting and everything that comes with it. I enjoy the community that we're building here, a little personal, you know, in-house community and the community at large in, in some part, uh, I, this is a whole other video, but I'll say what I'm going to say. I can't say that I enjoy the entire 
the entirety of the diamond painting community as a massive whole, like the whole entire community as one big thing. I'm not going to lie to you and say I enjoy the entire community. I enjoy our little dark and creepy fam community and some of our extended fam by, you know, by extension. We've got Raven community, Miawa community, Rokari community, Crafty Ish Kristen community, Diamond Painting with Coco, um, Diamond Crafts by Eileen, Diamond Painting with Jack, True Vampire Crafts. I mean, you know, um, you know, Crafts with Nightingale or by Nightingale and, and Nene's Craft Place and, you know, and if I left somebody out, I didn't mean to. You're included. You know who you are. I'm just saying, like, you know, a Devil's Angel Madness community. Um, the Ephemera 3D community. I'm trying to be, like, you know, now I'm going to start a whole freaking list of... <laughs> All right, well, that, that could take the rest of the video. But you get my point. You get my point. Um, I, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that offends anybody uh, in terms of, like shocker you know I'm gonna come out like I said I'm just gonna come out and be real honest with you guys with what's the point in lying you know or sugarcoating it there isn't one I mean that just all that does is disrespect you as a viewer I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna say I don't enjoy the entirety of the diamond painting community there are, there are people companies aspects um opinions perspectives uh personalities that I do not enjoy in this community. But that's the way it is with any community. Think about your town. Think about your town. You, in general, uh, yeah, your town's all right. I mean, I really like my neighborhood that I live in. I like my neighbors, like my neighborhood, like my, my friends, you know, and I'm, you know, around the, around the hood. But man, gotta tell you what, my town in general, in theory, is really great. But like, the crime rate, y'all. I do not like how many robberies are going on in my town. I do not like the crime in my town. I don't like the way my town's laid out. I mean, there are things about your town you don't like, and you know, but you like your neighborhood. Something like that. It's kind of like that. I like my neighborhood. Uh, it doesn't mean I have to like the whole damn city, right? Uh, and I don't. So <laughs> there's that. That's, that's a whole topic for a whole other video, but... Um, and, and don't play. Don't play. If I see one person comment be like, I like the entire community. Every single person in it. Every single company in it. And every single behavior that is contained within said community by business or creator or anyone else associated. You a liar. <laughs> you a fibber. No. Um, listen to me. Being a, I'm being a friendly troll. I'm just I'm keeping it real. I mean, but I, sorry. Not sorry. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, but, but it, it can be stressful. Having a channel can be stressful as enjoyable as it is. Uh, I forgot one little F. Look, I have an F to give. Let me, let me give that F right there. Gave that F. I'm now out of Fs to give. Look at that. <laughs> Metaphor for life, right? <laughs> um, it just happened to work out that way. Look at there. Um, but yeah, so some of you might be asking, like, what could possibly be so stressful, Mushy? Oh, now I have an X that got left behind. Did I already do? Yeah, I did X's. Stand by while I, while I attack. Where'd it go? I know you're there. I saw you. Does anybody see the X? Right there, right there, right there, right there. Let me just, mm, let me get in its face so I don't lose it. You guys, I'm seriously sleep deprived. Oh my gosh. Bam. Um, try to get this done before the live stream tonight. But yeah, um, stressful. I, the stress can come from a lot of different sources. When you, you know, at least in my experience. Again, I can't speak for every creator. I can only speak for myself and my personal experience and my personal feelings and how I receive information and how I process things and how I feel about things. So just because I say, this is how it is, da, 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 I'm not speaking for everyone. I'm just speaking for mushy. It might be totally different, but um, creators or, or viewers, I mean, I welcome everybody to, to chime in here, but um, 
specifically other creators, if you're out there and you're comfortable with it, you leave a comment. Um, do you feel stress and pressure too? You don't have to identify where you feel the stress and pressure from if, you, if you're not comfortable, but like, tell me I'm not the only one that feels some stress and some pressure from some aspect of having a channel just by virtue of having a channel, like specifically to having a content creation situation. We get pressure from a lot of places. Some you might expect and some you might not. Um, like I mentioned before, for me personally, a lot of stress and pressure, it's all self-imposed by the way. Well, not all of it. Most of it is self-imposed by the way. Um, so I have nobody to blame but myself for any stress and pressure. I feel for the most part, there are exceptions to where outside forces produce stress and pressure upon me, but a large vast majority of it is self-imposed because of how I view my channel and what I want for it and and how I think about my channel and my viewers and stuff like that. We discuss this, the whole work ethic thing and how I view this as, as kind of a job in that, you know, I treat it with the respect of a job and then that creates pressure and, and stress, but um, it is what it is. It's what I do to myself. It's what I want. So anyway, um, where are some, where are some places that creators can get stress from, you know, and pressure? So I can tell you lately, number one, number one thing, this is fresh on my n noodle here. <laughs> this is fresh inside my noggin. So you, you, this has been happening. Strangely, it's been happening r pretty recently, like quite a few um, one place we can get stressed is from simply showing you guys stuff. It, that, I mean, in its most general form, showing you guys new stuff from shops and whatnot. Um, it's, let's just say, uh, we know as creators, at least most of us know, that we have a responsibility to, to you. When I find a shop and I purchase something to review or that shop sends me something and says, Hey, I want you to know who I am. I, I like your channel and I, I like you and I like your viewers. And I think, you know, I would love for them to see what I have to offer. If you like what you see, please put it on your channel. You know, that type of thing. Um, you know, but, but most often how it comes about is we, we make a purchase and bring it onto the channel and show you guys and, I've seen the comments. I've seen you stinkers talking about, no, I was enabled by Mushy. This is Mushy's fault. I blame Mushy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, you know, I, I take that seriously. I try to treat that with the best respect that I can every time I recommend somewhere. Or I, re you know, I can, a lot of times I can just give you, at first, I can just give you my first impression. I'll unbox it and I'll tell you what my first impressions are, but then I need some time to test and to play with stuff and to use stuff before I can formulate a more in-depth perspective and opinion on a, a canvas, a, a 3D print, a tray, a pen, a putty, whatever. And, um, but that, but that gives, I feel a lot of pressure. I feel because I feel so responsible to you guys, you know, and I don't know what's going on lately, but, um, part of, part of that is, is when I show you guys something, let's say I show you guys something from small shop a, for example, and I'm like, this is awesome. Like on um, first impression, I'm looking at this. This is great, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, look, 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 you guys. I want, I've got to share this with you. This is, it looks great. I'm thinking this is going to be great. Check it out with me. And then let's, you know, let's say I do that and you guys are like, hey, I think so too. That looks really cool. You know, I'm liking what I'm hearing, what you're saying about this so far, what your impressions are. I want to be on the boat too. I want to check this out too. I'm going to go order something from this small company that you're, you're really happy with, Mush. Me too. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. 
And so then, you know, a handful of you, a couple dozen of you, you know, whatever, others, aside from me, order from this company. You you put your trust and your faith in me and my impression and my opinion. You you took that into consideration when you made your purchase. And I acknowledge and recognize that. I feel the pressure of that though, y'all. I do. I um it it's it's something I don't take lightly at all. Uh, when I make a video and I show you something or recommend something, um, I don't take it lightly. I don't. I realize that it might influence or uh, weigh in on your decisions to make purchases or patronize shops or whatever. And I respect that. And I try to show it. It's, you know, show the respect to you and to your opinion and your thoughts and your purchasing power and give you the most honest stuff that, I, you know, that I can. But lately we've been, us creators have been having some, at least some of us creators have been having some, some bumps in the road with some small shops that's and, it, and, and there's stress and pressure in that too, because while we do not run these shops, we don't control these shops, we don't, you know, we don't have anything to do with them aside from, look what I found, from who I found it from, uh, if you guys like what you see, here's where you can find it too, you know, that's, we don't make their products, we don't get paid by them, generally speaking, we don't, um, we're just a customer like you, but we're one, you know, with some exposure and a voice and, and who wants to share with you. So what happens when that company or shop disappears? We get something, we're impressed with it. We tell you we're wholeheartedly like, yes, into it. Right. And then, you know, you guys also like, Hey, us too, you know, we're, we're, that's cool too. And so then you guys hop on the boat with us and grab some stuff and then a month two months a couple months down the road poof company just off the radar not responding not fulfilling orders and of course like you guys heard about it from us so you're going to come to the creator you heard about it from and like hey do you know what's going on i don't like i said i can't i can't speak for anyone else what I can say is that I take a lot of, although I'm not personally responsible for your choices and purchasing, and I'm not personally responsible for the company or business and their behavior, you know, therein or their product, I still feel that pressure and that stress when something goes wrong and it doesn't, you don't have that same experience or you don't get that same quality product and you made your choice in large part or in any part based on something you saw or heard on my channel. I feel that responsibility. I feel that pressure to make sure that I'm only showing you guys stuff that is legit, that is can be believed in, that can be and when something happens and one of those companies or businesses comes out with a product or behaves in a way that is different from my experience, oh crud, do you know how bad I feel, you know, how stressful that is? Every time, every time I, I go to put even a familiar, it doesn't even have to be like a new company. It could be a familiar to me company that I've been, you know, working with or, or been promoting, I guess, you know, because I like them so much that's, you know, and then something happens in the, you know, personally with them as a business, as a person owner, or as a, as a product, you know, comes out that's less than ideal or whatever and I feel like oh, sometimes it splashes back on us creators did you know that yeah um for instance let's do a hypothetical let's just say 
Um, let's say there's a company called, I don't know. Hopefully there's no company called this. If there is, I don't mean it to be, but let's say there's a company called Tweezies. <laughs> Cause I got tweezers. <laughs> Tweezies. Tweezies is a new small shop. And before I get too far into this, please don't read too much into that. I know there are some small shops in the diamond painting community that sell tweezers. I'm not talking about any of them. I'll tell you that up front. Okay. I have not bought tweezers. Um, or have I been offered tweezers from any small shop that sells, makes and sells tweezers? So um, no, I'm not talking about, don't read into this. Okay. It was just the first thing I could grab. Okay, fine. How about, no, cause that says, <sighs> okay, <sighs> let me try again. <laughs> Just so there's no confusion and no inferences to be made. Um, container. So there's a new small shop. Somebody started. Um, they've been around a little while or maybe they're new. It, it doesn't matter. It's a small shop by, you know, a little, a person who's like in their, in their place of work and, and they're creating containers. It's called Containies. Here's the shop. It's called Containies. Here's their new product. It's a container, right? I saw it. And I hadn't heard much talk about it, um, but it intrigued me, so I bought it. I bought this container, for, or this container from Containies, okay? Um, and uh, I got it, and I unboxed it with you guys, and I'm like, hey, look at this container. Look at these features. Okay, this is what I was looking for. This is what I was hoping for. So far, so good. Looks good, y'all. Looks good, y'all. Let me play around with it. And uh, I'll let you know if there's anything. I play around with it. I mention it in videos. I tag it, link it, whatever in videos. I show you guys a few times in videos. Like, I'm using my new containies containers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Loving this containies. And I am. Otherwise, I would tell you I'm not. I'm loving it. Everything's been great with my containies container. Okay. Um... So you guys are like, all right, well, cool. You know, her first impression was good and I value her opinion. I, she, she has some similar tastes to me. I've been looking for something similar, whatever the case may be. Uh, and you're like, me too. I, I think I, I think I want to invest in this containies container situation as well. Let me buy some containies containers also. Cool. Come on. Let's go. Love these containies containers. Join me. Um, we can flip the lids of our containers, containers together. Click, click. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me being an idiot. Anyway, so, um, you know, you get yours and, you know, everything's fine and great. You got yours. They're in great shape. They work great. You're loving it. Everybody's loving it. You know, some other people get theirs and it's cool too. And then, you know, some other people a month or two later find the video, hear the buzz, see what everybody's saying. Oh, we all love these containers, containers. Thanks, Mushy, for showing us the containers, containers. Um, you know, we've gotten them, we've loved them, whatever. And then, uh, so somebody comes around, you know, maybe they've been AFK. Maybe they, they were on a trip. They were in the hospital. They took a break. They haven't been watching your channel, whatever the case may be. And then they come on. What's Mushy up to? Oh, containers. I'm going to order some too. Look at all these comments and I'm seeing a lot of other channels talking about it. I'm seeing some buzz, you know, sounds great. Let me buy, buy one too. And so, you know, viewer, you know, X, you know, uh, the umpteenth thousandth, you know, purchaser of, of containies containers buys a containies container set and they get the, they, they place their order and they wait and they wait. And they wait and nothing. Hello? You know, hello, containies, containers. Are you there? Are you, you know, am I going to get my stuff? Like, can you communicate with me? And they get crickets. And so they start getting nervous. Uh-oh. What's going on? Everybody's talking about these containing containers. Everybody's happy. I already paid my money, but like now it's been weeks. I haven't heard anything. Nobody's shipping anything. And like, is it just me? Is it, you know, and, and anxiety sets in. And rightfully so, you know, uh, you know, so what, what does viewer X do? Viewer X is trying to reach the company. The company is not responding. The small business or whatever is not responding. So what does viewer do? Viewer reaches out to creator. They heard from it, heard about it from mushy, mushy. Are you there? 
Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Mushy, I saw your video. I saw your video about containies containers. And I've been seeing all the positive like reviews of the other people that got them. And I like what I saw. I've been looking for this. You know, what do you think of them? Oh, I think they're great. You know, haven't, not a problem. Like, they're working out great. Um, okay, well, cool. So I went ahead and placed an order like 100 years ago. And I never got my order. And I'm trying to email their customer service. And they're not answering. And like, I don't know what to do now. So I heard about it from your channel. So I'm going to come to you. And that's valid. I understand. Uh, you know, I understand how we get there. You know what I mean? I understand. Because I, the way I see it, it is my responsibility. If, if I'm going to present something out to the public and, and give an, a positive or negative opinion, whatever my opinion is, you know, I need to stand by it and, and stuff like that. But also, conversely, though, I didn't make the, can. I have nothing to do with containing containers. I can't, I can, if I've heard something, if I know something, I can tell you like, hey, I heard through the grapevine or hey, the owners messaged me and said this, um, you know, or whatever. But like, I don't have any more knowledge than you. You know what I mean? I'm just a customer like you. I'm just a customer with a public opinion. And, um, and so that creates stress and pressure on me because, you know, I want to be able to show you guys, Hey, look what I got from, you know, Timu AliExpress, contain these containers, shop X, shop Y, shop Z. And here's what I think. And, you know, uh, here's been my experience and stuff. And then, um, yeah, you know, that creates, I get, you know, anxious when I make a video and I show you guys maybe something that's new to me or even if it's not new to me because anything could happen um for instance I don't you know I'm not in the business of trying to like I'm not trying to throw names and stuff right so we're just going to be ambiguous but here are some examples of like some things that have been happening lately that have been stressful for some of us small creators, not just myself, but a few others. And again, I don't want to speak for them, so I'm not going to name them or anything, but you know, um, I'm, I know I'm not alone in this, in this boat, but lately, um, there's been one small shop that several of us did some PR for, uh, did order from, and we very happy with, with the initial first impression. Um, I know there's, there was one company that one of us had an issue with the product and after a little bit of back and forth, the issue eventually did get corrected to a satisfactory level. But then, you know, um, due to some of that attention that we were bestowing upon these, th th this small shop, um, other other people viewers and creators alike were starting to place orders with this small shop and this small shop kind of made a few excuses as to why the orders were slow or not arriving and then stopped communicating all together this has happened with lately recently the in the last few months this has happened with uh off the top of my head i think two I can think of two shops that viewers are reporting. And of course, you know, this starts happening and you don't, as a viewer, you don't know what to do because, you know, so what do you do? You, you can't get through to the business. The people aren't responding to you. You're like, so you naturally you go to who you've heard it from. You heard it from mushy or creator x or creator y or creator z so of course you go to them and say i've taken every other avenue i'm not getting a response and no information do you know anything can you help me in most cases we are just consumers customers just like you and we don't know much more than you we you know sometimes sometimes we do know more sometimes you know when enough people are having 
a problem, whether, you know, a good problem or a bad problem, like, hey, I'm loving this product. I love this and this and this about it. We'll hear about that all day from a bunch of different people. But also, if it's a bad problem, we have this happened, this communication, this bad thing, this bad thing. We'll hear about that from multiple people too. And we get a, a pretty general big idea of something that's going on, something, something's happening here, um, good or bad, you know? So sometimes we have a little bit more general information, but we, a lot of times it's more often than not, we are not besties you know with the shop owners we they may be subscribers they may be uh associate like acquaintances that's the word i'm looking for they may be acquaintances um we may not know them at all for outside of an email talking about i placed an order thank you um there's varying degrees of familiarity each of us have with different companies, but most of the time we are customers just like you. And we don't know much more, if any more, than you. And is it our responsibility? Is it our responsibility to tell you when, you know, we've been vocally outwardly supporting or promoting a company or a product and we know something's going on something that could negatively impact you yeah I think so I I think so um you know so say I know uh oh like I've been talking up this containies container company for a while now and now all of a sudden they're deciding to jack up their prices and not communicate with their customers they're not sending the orders and they're you know something they're taking money but nothing's coming out <laughs> you know they're taking money out of you know from people but they're not sending products and fulfilling orders um yeah it's my responsibility to if i find out about it and i can confirm it as fact yeah it's my responsibility psa public service announcement my friends you know um use caution use judgment um but at the same time I can't do anything about like I can't fix it for anyone you know and do you know how bad that makes us creators feel um and and that bad feeling and stuff is pressure and stress that we ex we feel we we take it personally when we put our faith in a just like you guys put your faith in us and our channels and our opinions we put our faith in these shops and businesses that promise that they're going to do right by customers and you know by us and by our viewer base and stuff like that and then they fail us and make us look you know, like we not to be trusted or our opinions can't be trusted or we were complicit in whatever it was that they did negative when in reality we were just a customer just like you. We went on blind good faith because we want to be able to show you some of the newest things that are coming out, the newest companies. We want to support these small businesses who are trying to start something and make something of themselves and feed their families and and we want to support that, you know, it's kind of a, it's a scale, you know, but at the end of the day, when the camera gets turned off and, and we go lay down in bed at night, we have to live with ourselves. We have to feel the weight of this situation that happened or that shop that did this or that, um, creator who did that or that, you know, situation over here that, that we knew about or that's a lot of stress and pressure that you might not realize you might think we just turn on the camera and we pop 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 and and go to sleep and sleep you know happy and open boxes and yee -hee -hee. but there's so much more to it than just that there is that great exciting experience but there's also you know things that come from experiences like that with shops that maybe are doing our our viewers dirty uh, or doing us dirty um I, someone once put it to me i didn't realize this was a term i guess it's a common term i just didn't know it but there is a such thing as creator abuse so 
let's talk about that for a minute because that was kind of new to me until recently. Uh, the term creator abuse. And I was like, is that even really a thing? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, but it makes sense. Like creators get left open to creator abuse. And that's kind of like a whole different video I'm going to talk about. But in general, it's, you know, some people, whether they realize they do it or not, people, viewers, shops, other creators, you know, it, it can be anybody but take advantage um, or use the fact that someone is a content creator and abuse that or exploit that. And we'll talk about like creator abuse and what that is and what that means to me anyway and, and define it and, and discuss it in a different video. But that can cause pressure and stress too. And, um, you know, the politics the community, diamond painting community politics, the interaction between creators and other creators, creators and their viewers, viewers and their, and other viewers, like viewer communities, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, um, you know, there's strife within, there's, there are, there can be strife within viewer communities. There can be strife within, you know, between creators. Uh, there can be strife between businesses. There can be strife between small shop, big shop. There can be strife between creator and big shop, creator and little shop. Um, just any which way you put it, you know, when you try to, to mix any combination of things like that, there can be the potential for, um, you know, politics. You know, I, it is, you know, it is what it, we're human. We're human social creatures and politics is always a thing. And it's, it's like high school life. Life is like high school. I hate to break it to anyone and anyone who says that it, it's not, you can't avoid it. Uh, if you interact with other people or put yourself in public, you can't avoid it. I feel like we're all adults and we should all conduct ourselves like adults and the communication, um, you know, if you have a, if you have an issue with someone, it should be handled privately just because we have a platform doesn't mean that, you know, we need to broad broadcast our grievances, um, you know, and stuff like that. That's just unnecessary drama that doesn't do anything, but create pain on, you know, pain to the viewers, pain to, um, yourself, pain to whomever it is that you're outing or whatnot uh no good what good can come of it what good can come of it you just rile people up and stuff like that I think uh I like I that's just me personally I personally don't like to participate in that aspect I prefer to handle things in private um you know in a calm a, a calm mature discussionary environment uh there's also within the community um, politics, you know, you, uh, professional courtesies between creators, professional courtesies between creators and viewers, professional courtesies between, um, creators and shops, viewers and shops and businesses and stuff. Uh, that can be stressful sometimes, so, you know, um, fun stuff like like I said the events and stuff that's a lot of extra work that's stress and pressure I feel the weight of everyone who's participating counting on me um to do right by them and to do as I'm promising and all that stuff and while I'm happy and excited to do all the things that's why I'm offering to do all the things and I'm promoting doing all the things um it's still it's still stress and pressure you know, and just think, there's one me, there's one me. I do have the support of my family, my daughter and my son down, but you know, and they're here for me, but I am, you know, this is largely a one woman show. I could spend all day just doing the social aspect of having a channel. Uh, that's so stressful and time consuming. 
guys have no idea. I'm one person and there's so many posts and um, tags from other creators' videos and comments and um, then there's TikTok and Instagram and stuff that also, you know, and, and messages and emails and I love it all and I, I get to it all eventually, but it takes me time because I am one person and you are many and um, I do the best I can. I do the best I can. And, but also on top of that social part, I still have to do the work. I still have to, ha I can't be conversating and, um, also doing it, you know, in text or messages or emails, stuff that involve my thumbs and still be diamond painting. I still have to do the work. I can't, um, being one person, I can't. The content doesn't make itself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The content doesn't make itself. And so I do have to balance how much time I spend being social as much as I could, would, and sometimes just want to spend all day being social with everybody. I also, I kind of have to do diamond painting because I am a diamond painting channel. So I have to have something to show you. I have to do some of the work. <laughs> I got to do something. Um, and that... That's, you know, kind of a stress and a pressure because, you know, I go to bed at, I say I go to bed at night, but lately uh, I go to nap at night. Let's, let's go with that. I go to nap at night and I check, clear out all my notifications. Like I respond to everything that I can. I check everything I can. I, I respond to all the comments that are available and I clear, I get everything cleared up and I go to bed knowing that I have responded to everything that required my response. I have, you know, business inquiries, viewer inquiries, um, you know, creator inquiries, the, the whole nine, like everybody, everything. Mushy has responded to, and I, and I go lay down to take my little four hour nighttime nap. And I, I kid you not, I wake up four hours later, check my phone and there's 47, 47, <laughs> uh, notifications you know, and I, I love it and I appreciate it. And I, I do, but then I feel that again, that stress and that pressure, like, um, I need to get up and work on this painting, but I see that I'm being tagged and somebody wants my attention. Somebody's left me a message. Somebody, uh, has a question. Somebody, um, needs details about the event and all these things that, that I also, you know, want and need to respond to and um and and that takes time the time that I needed to do that you know so it's that that causes me a little bit of stress so I, what I'm trying to say I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad please don't feel bad I love hearing from you and I love socializing with you otherwise I wouldn't make myself available to you think about that for a second um if it bothered me and ticked me off or you know if it was such a negative thing um, I would not make myself available freely to you in all the ways that I do. So please do not misunderstand and take this wrong. I guess my point is, is that I'm human and I'm one person and, um, I take it so seriously and so personally that it put, I put the stress on myself, um, you know, and the pressure, I feel the weight of all 1400 subscribers you know, I feel that weight. It's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. It's a good thing. It's not even a double-edged sword, but it's, it's a good thing. But I take it so serious that I, I feel it, you know, I feel it. <laughs> um, and I guess what I'm trying to say is like, if, please don't take it personal, you know, if I don't respond to you right away or the response you get isn't the exact response you were hoping for and etc. I'm just simply, I'm not whining. I'm not complaining. At least I hope, despite the fact that it might kind of sound like that, I hope not. But what I'm trying to say is that I value each and every one of you and I feel, I feel the responsibility toward every single person who clicks on any one of my videos at any time. I take it seriously and 
I put it on myself to do the rightest by you that I can. Does that make sense? And sometimes I can't always get to you right away. Again, I'm one person. Uh, and sometimes you might not get the response that you were hoping for or wanting or desiring. And if that is the case, I am sorry, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. And um, I have, you know, you you come here because you enjoy the company maybe or the content or somewhere, some combination thereof. And I respect that. And as such, I hope that you would respect that like, um, as much as I want to partake in, in things other than just diamond painting and making the videos, I do have to dedicate time to this because this is why you're here and I, it doesn't do itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I do wear myself. I burn the candle at both ends to try to, to try to, I don't know. In my head, I'm, I'm thinking I'm easing the pressure. Uh, because I'm trying to be the best I can be and accommodate as many people as possible in every way possible that's requested of me. But at the end of the day, um, being, being human and being one person, I can't, I can't reasonably do it all, all the time perfectly. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure, you know, be more social, get more diamond painting done. Um, <laughs> you know, get more videos filmed, you know, um, get pulled in a lot of different directions, you know, business contacts with small shops, big shops, um, you know, PR opportunities and, um, collaboration with other creator opportunities and, you know, all the things, all the things. It's, it's a lot more than what a lot of people realize. And, um, I love, I love it and enjoy it or I wouldn't do it because I'll tell you what, this is the most underpaid, underpaid, overworked job in the history of ever. <laughs> Please believe that. If nothing else, believe that. So, uh, you know, it's certainly not out of greed because see, they're, 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 I can think of about everything else I could do that's, <laughs> that would be less work and more pay. So, um, we do it because, you know, even though that's the case, uh, uh, the whole overworked, underpaid, um, analogy is the case here. I promise you for the vast majority of us now, I mean, you, you know, those, those tubers with, um, millions of subscribers or even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, they're, they're sitting pretty that's where, that's where it gets good. <laughs> when you're in the thousands and, you know, hundreds of subscribers, thousands of subscribers and, and so on, we're, we're not, we're not those millionaires in those mansions with those cars handing out those playstations and those $500 gift cards to random people on the street. We just, <laughs> they might see that income. We don't. Okay. We got to, let's go ahead and get, I'll tell you what, I'll start handing out $500 gift cards to random people on this street if we can get me to 1 million subs. You ready? <laughs> get to work, guys. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> but seriously, that man, wouldn't that be nice? Oh my god, how many diamond paintings I could get? With it? Okay. Anyway, um but yeah, I hope that I've kind of given you guys some things like to think about, not just to mushy about mushy but about you know youtube creation in general being a creator some of the things the stress that we put ourselves under but some of the stress that we're exposed to that are in our general environment just by the nature of of choosing to do this um and not all stress and pressure equates into something bad and not something insulting some of it is positive and, and can come from positive and good uh, some of it's self-induced and imposed, and some of it is brought onto us by other entities or people. But at the end of the day, we continue doing it because we love it. Because like I said, believe it or not, 
you can believe what you want, but I'm telling you, you know, the bottom line is, um, it's, it's, we don't do it for the money. <laughs> At least not, at least not at this, this stage, this level that Mushy's at. Um, or, you know, and I can't foresee this being something livable, sustainable, unless you've got tens of thousands or more subscribers. And even then, I mean, it really kind of depends on some other factors, which we'll talk about in another video too, like analytics and what that means and what affects it and how does it affect us as creators and stuff. But I guess what I want to leave you with is I'm going to get to the summarization and like ending of this long tirade here in a moment, but I just thought I would share with you all that sundown uh, was making a bunch of noise while I'm like, I'm just trying to finish this up so I can move on with life here. And, uh, and he was rummaging and, and he shut the, the fridge door like, because I was complaining about the rummaging. And then I was like, you can rummage all you want as long as you make me another Javi coffee. And then he was like, ro he, he facially rolled his eyes. Like his eyes didn't roll, but his face rolled. Welcome to Redneck Books. Enjoy your brown water. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for my brown water. Also, thanks for throwing shade with your facial expressions. There's not enough sun outside for shade. Oh, my God. Anyway. In Bye, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. They say goodbye to you, too. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sundown. Bye, bye. Oh, well, no. We're saying goodbye. Goodbye, Sundown. Bye. Bye, um, In summation, uh, I just, I guess my whole point, and I kind of went all over the place, um, I'll, I'm going to make some more videos, whip and chats sometime in the future, and we're, go more in depth about, like, targeted you know target talking about some of the stuff um that i mentioned i'm just kind of generally overviewing and getting some general thoughts and feelings off my chest but um you know i just kind of wanted to leave you with uh ponder this just keep this in mind not just me and i, I like i said i don't want to speak for other creators but i think that i'm comfortable enough to say this blanket statement pretty safely most of, most of us are, did I refill this? Oh, I forgot to put pudding. Well, that's why it's not picking anything up. I forgot to fill, <laughs> refill that tip. Most of the creators that you watch are solo acts. Now, some of them, some of them I'm pretty sure have assistance, whether it's family helping them out or actual hired assistance or volunteer assistance or, you know, some kind of assistant that can help them with the behind the camera stuff like inventory and, and social responses and scheduling and scripting. If there's a kind of video that needs scripted or something like that research and things like that. But for the most part, especially with your smaller creators, we are one person and you are many and we are doing the best that we can. And believe me, Again, can't speak for everybody, but for this creator, I put an immense amount of stress and pressure on myself. And it's, I'm not complaining and I'm not whining. I'm just expressing that I take it so seriously. I treat this like a responsibility, a job. I enjoy it. It's a job I enjoy. I love my work. and um, But I respect it this channel and this community and you as a viewer and I respect it all uh the shops the 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 art the the everything so much so that I put an immense amount of pressure on myself to try to always be on top of things and always have provide um consumable content and to interact with everyone to the best of my ability and make it a fun exciting place with fun exciting things like giveaways and events and you know interactions and stuff like that and and just know I don't take it lightly some creators might not appreciate it some creators do appreciate it some people feel you know the the weight and the pressure of the responsibility and the obligation like me uh others maybe not so much and that's okay we're all different um 
and that's why I can only speak for myself, but I value you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And, you know, I put this stress and pressure on myself. And as I mentioned several times, stress and pressure isn't always a bad thing. It can come from a good thing. And I view it, this is a good thing. I enjoy this. I love this. I enjoy you. I love you. And, um, you know, yes, there is some stressful stuff that comes along with it, but it's all worth it. Uh, especially when I fling drills everywhere. Okay. It's all, it's all worth it. Um, but you should know, you know, and have that perspective that your creators are one person and where you individually are one person, collectively you're many. And, um, it's very much like, you know, uh, being in the, in the center of, of, of a circle and then, and being surrounded and closed in sometimes, you know, especially when something is going on or something happens or, uh, whatever. And, and everybody is, is wanting to gravitate in your direction and need your attention at the same time. It can get a little stressy, pressury, overwhelmy, and just have a little patience with us creators, uh, or, you know, specifically this one <laughs> and just know that, um, I see your comments. Uh, I see your posts on Facebook. I, I see everything. I'm always watching. <laughs> you know, I do my best. I do my absolute best. And, um, you know, I see you. I'm there with you, even if I can't always, you know, respond right away. Don't know what else to say. That's all I got for you for this time. Um, oh, quick question. Comment down below. Is Mushy going to get this diamond painting done before the live tonight? I have, what time is it? Uh, 2.35. I have, um, yeah, I think I can. It's, it's 2.35. The live is at 8 o'clock. So I have, you know, five and a half hours. I think I can get this done, barring a major catastrophe. But if not, I need to be fired. All right, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, whether you're a viewer or creator. What do you think about everything I had to say? Creators, do you feel any type of the same way that I described feeling? Do you feel any kind of pressure or stress? Do you put it on yourself or do you feel like it comes from outside sources or a little bit of both? Um, or do you feel like this is like the most stress-free, la-di-da, skipping through the grass thing that you've done? Which is fine, too, if you do. I mean, not everybody is like me. Um, you know, but let me know uh, if you're a creator. I'd love to hear from you and how what you thought about my perspective and how I kind of view things and how I feel about things in regards to stress and pressure. Um, and if you're a viewer, what are your thoughts? How did you take what I said? Uh, how do you feel about what I said? And uh, with that, I will see you in the next one. Stay naughty. Mm -hmm.